Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you saw the shopping video, you saw that my daughter picked out these two yarns and I'm going to make her a scarf. So this is my first time working with Go For Faux. Um, and it's a Lion brand yarn. They did not give me this yarn, so any opinion I may have as I go along is purely my own. So let's see, Lion Brand, Go For Faux. It is a bulky six, and the size that it recommends for crochet hook is, there we go, a um, nine millimeter or an N hook, which I do have. Oh, I guess I have a 10. Well, anyway, that's perfectly fine because with these bulky, um, bulky yarns, the bigger the hook, the better. And it is, the colorway is Meow Pink, this one anyway, and she wants it to be pink and orange. So the colorway on this is tamarind. Um, let's see. There are 65 yards in each skein. 100% polyester. Alrighty. So with these kind of yarns, you don't want to try to do anything fancy because trust me, you won't be able to see any of the stitches. So, I think we're just gonna do a single crochet, maybe a double, but we'll see. So I'm gonna start with the pink. All right, so we're gonna start with a loop, a slip knot. There we go. And we're just gonna do single crochet. So we're gonna chain 11. So we want our project to be 10 single crochets long. So we have to chain 11. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So as you can see, you can't really tell. So if you make a mistake, no one will ever know. But you also can't see pretty stitches either, so single crochet or something norm bland I guess it's the way to go so okay so here's one so I'm feeling around so here's two so we're gonna go in the second chain from the hook and just shove it in wherever you think because honestly like I said no one will know so one you just gotta feel your way across Two, Five, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I did pretty good. I think I was correct in my assumptions on where the stitches were. All right, so we'll do something with that later. So chain one, turn your work, and just go across. One, two, Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, somewhere in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do. is I'm going to crochet the pink for as long as I want it. Sorry, that was my dog. And then I will meet back up with you when I'm ready to change color to orange. Um, but you can obviously do this in one color, but my daughter wanted both. So I'll meet back up with you when I've got the pink as long as I want. Alright guys, so I did probably about six or seven rows so this is how long I want my pink right now so I'm gonna do pink orange pink orange pink orange all the way around um, so on the last single crochet I did not finish off my single crochet I still have two loops on the hook because I'm going to join the orange or the tamarind so let's open this puppy up so I was thinking, as I was crocheting, as I tend to do, that this would actually be a good project to do with your kids. And you could do, um, trying to find the end of this thing. Oh, there we go, I think. Um, you could do finger crocheting or finger knitting um, with this stuff. So that would be fun too. You don't need a hook. You just need your fingers, your yarn, and your scissors. Um, if you'd like to see a video on either finger crocheting or finger knitting, leave a comment below and we could do that. All right, so I'm just going to bring this as my, to finish the single crochet, and then a chain one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my pink and I'm going to take these two ends and just work them into this row because again no one will see it and no one will care. Um, if you don't want to make a whole project with this yarn, that's fine. Um, you can use it to line uh, socks, line 
boot cuffs, um, lined sweaters. You can use it for non-knitting and crocheting. You can um, use it just in crafts in general and glue this yarn, this, you know, faux fur yarn to whatever you are working on. Um, anyway. And the other thing is that I think some people would be concerned that as you're working with this, the faux fur would fall off, would peel off, would fluff off. And it doesn't seem to be doing that at, oh, sorry, I may not be in the camera. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing that. I mean, uh, my pink was unwrapped when I started the video, so I did play with it a little bit yesterday. Um, and I think, like, one little itty bitty piece of the fur had come off, but it's not a constant um, thing. And I don't think, I mean, picking at it, and it's not falling off on my table here. Um, so, all right. So this is, I've added the orange. So like I said, I'm gonna go pink, orange, pink, orange. Um, I'll do one more row with you guys and then I will meet back up when I am completely done with the scarf to show you what it looks like. Um, I find this, I suppose as a semi-experienced crocheter, I find this not that difficult to work with, but I think if you were a beginner, I could see um, a lot of frustration. <laughs> because you can't see your stitches. So, but just play with it. You, like I said, you just gotta feel your way through the project. And I find this actually rather enjoyable to work with. I don't know why. It's soft, um, as opposed to the regular yarn that can get kind of rough and irritate my hands a little bit. All right, so here's what it's like with two rows of orange on there. All right, so I will meet back up with you when I'm completely done with this project and show you what it looks like. All right, everyone, so I finished the scarf. Um, it worked up pretty quickly. I just used single crochet and it is so soft. So um, it kept its shape. There are no too thin spots or too thick spots. I Every once in a while I would um, count the stitches to make sure I was still at 10 single crochets across. Um, and it is 3 feet 10 inches, so it's perfect size for my daughter. Um, she loves it. She was cuddling with the yarn while I was crocheting because it's so soft. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's see. I'm pretty happy with this. I weaved in both ends. So, all right. Um, I would definitely do this again with the Lion Brand Go For Faux. I might even go buy me some more, maybe not in these colors, but and make me a scarf. Anyway, all right everyone. Thank you very much and um, if you, if you make one of these, go ahead and tag me in Instagram at Michaela Ann 84. Um, my Instagram is down in the, in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and have a great day everyone.